Yes, I. No brothers, no sisters, no lovers, no haters. Not today, unfortunately, people. This is a direct response to John Humbledryer. Yeah. Right. First of all, John, you have a number for me. It's the old WhatsApp number that I still have on this phone, the one that you used to contact me on. If you've got a problem, why didn't you ring me up? You know, if you want to do things on the internet, John, then you crack on. This here is the one and only reply that you're going to get. I won't mention you again on this channel. You know, this is it. Now, I don't have a number for you, John. I deleted them all through choice. Okay, now, first thing I'm going to mention is if you were me, you'd be, you know, getting something sorted. Would you really? You know, you're not me, John. And I'm not you. Thank God. Now, it appears that you're trying to insinuate that me and bird shit, the beast of York, whatever, are somehow working together in the background, you know, in cahoots, um, getting copyright strikes on channels. Are we really? Now, logic thinking would tell anybody. I know a lot of people struggle with that. But logic thinking would clearly say that if me and Burkett are working together and, and I'm having him copyright strike people's channels, would I get him to do it in my name? <laughs> really? Whatever. Now, I ignored your video a couple of months ago, somehow trying to suggest that the Sayers done me a big favour by giving me a part in that film. Wow. Listen, I never even got paid for that shit film. I never even took diesel money for that film. As far as I'm concerned, me and Gary the Rat, Furby, delivered the only believable scene in that entire crock of shit film. You know, what a flop. It was the worst thing I've ever seen. Anyway, and if the Sears didn't like me distancing myself from them and the chew that they had going on, then fuck them. How was that? You know? And you dismissed me, did you, John? Well, okay. I think the fact of the matter is, I bombed you off when you ignored my request to stop endangering me and my family with something that you had going on, which was nothing to do with me. A very dangerous criminal enterprise from the North East, who I'm cool with, by the way, no thanks to you. I asked you repeatedly to leave me out of it. Stop mentioning me and them in the same sentence because you were endangering me and my family. Did you care? Did you listen? Did you fuck? That was me and you finished, John, there and then. Now, if you're somehow trying to suggest or threaten copyright strikes on my channel, John, if you want to come after my channel, if you want to do whatever you want, if you want to get my views to go down, then do it. Go for it, John. You know, because as far as I'm concerned, if people weren't listening to what I'm saying and I wasn't making money from it, I wouldn't be doing it anyway. If this channel gets shut down tonight, just see how bothered I will be, you know. What you say or do bears very little significance on my life, John. In fact, I would go as far to say anything you say or do will not have a remote impact on anything to do with me. Now... For whatever reason, John, you can't get a Rizzler paper between your tongue and the Sayers' ass. you know. Now, whatever chew you've got going on with anybody, never had nothing to do with me, did it? You know, I think Paddy Conroy's a prick, but whatever chew's going on between you and him is nothing to do with me. Whatever chew's going on between you and Burkett is nothing to do with me. And especially whatever chew you had going on between me, sorry, between you and that firm had nothing to do with me. But, you know, if you had your way, you would have involved us, wouldn't you? You know, and you ignored my request to leave me out of it. You know, that's you trying purposely to cause trouble for me, John, right? Prick. Now, there was something else I was going to mention. Oh, I can't remember what it was. Anyway, John... You, if you had your way, you know, nobody would still know who you are. You know, this all started 
when we had a mutual dislike for somebody. I suppose it was about raising awareness at the start. And then, you know, over a few months, me and you were contacted, weren't we, off over a dozen women all saying the same thing. You know, we believe them. We still do. You know, and at the, for a while, it was about protecting them. I got sent to prison, of course, and I couldn't really continue in this with this thing. You know, so I packed in. You, John, I've taken your eye off the ball so many times I've lost count. You've gone after so many different people who, you know, weren't following your narrative or, you know, didn't fit your agenda. You know, you've turned on so many good people. That's between you and them. You know, and if you had your way, John, nobody would still know who you are. You know, from behind a keyboard, you were, you know, the hardest man in the world. Then the second your identity was revealed, you were making plans to flee the country. You know, so what does that say about you? You know, you made your bed, but you couldn't lay in it, you know. Now, you want to somehow suggest that you've got something over me or you're going to put information out there that's going to bother me. What are you going to What are you going to mention? What are you going to talk about? The, the parcels I used to come and collect off you in lockdown? You want to talk about what we got up to at Leeds after the bare knuckle fight? John, shoot your bolt. Do your worst, mate, all right? Just leave Alice and my mum out of it, okay? As I've said, you're not doing me any favours, mate. Do yourself a favour. Don't mention them again. Leave them out of it and we'll leave Jackie and her daughter out of it and we'll leave your brother out of it because it's got nothing to do with them, has it? Okay? Okay.